So a big question that you may be asking yourself right now is, should I develop my own website? Should I create a website on WordPress and hard code the learning management system that I use onto my new website? Should I utilize a platform that already exists that may have a website creator already integrated into it? What do I do? Those are really critical questions that will save you a lot of time and money if you understand how to utilize a software that already integrates a website builder within that will make you, your life, and your team's life a lot easier from the administrative side and for your learners on the user side as well which is why we're gonna be diving into Kajabi and the website builder that Kajabi has. My name is Hector Simudis. I am one of the co-founders of eLearning Partners and welcome to the eLearning Simplified channel where we are consistently giving out free, remarkable content all about how to simplify your e-learning, whether if you're creating a e-learning program, a virtual training, or an online course. Make sure to stick to the end of this video because we are doing a free giveaway to our master class where you will learn even more about where to even start when it comes to developing your e-learning program, virtual training, or online course. How to even know who your learners are. How to start understanding where do you begin to develop your learner profile. What does your learner profile even look like? And much more. We dig into that free master class. So stay to the end where we have that free giveaway for you. And make sure if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe because every single time we release a new piece of content, we want you to know so we can keep simplifying your e-learning. So let's go ahead and dive into Kajabi. Now, before diving into the Kajabi website builder, I have a story for you. We made a huge mistake. We made a huge mistake for our business, for our administrative side, for our learners, where we decided to not only utilize WordPress to develop our website, nothing wrong if you're using WordPress. However, for us, because e-learning is such a critical component to our business, e-learning partners, that's all we do, right? We went about it the wrong way. We did invest the thousands of hours and thousands of dollars from the website perspective, design perspective, integration perspective, getting developers involved to integrate our old WordPress site with the learning management system that we were using at the time. We spent thousands and the tens of thousands of dollars on this initiative. And guess what the return was? Absolutely zip but a lot of experience. An experience that has brought us here today, an experience to share with you because we don't want you to make the same mistakes that we did. We are so excited and are so happy that we're using Kajabi. Remember, we've talked about this in other videos before, so make sure to go check them out, all about finding technology that is right for your learners and then also that is right for your business and administrative staff. After evaluating everything and really looking back and reflecting, we saw that Kajabi was the right tool and for this video specifically, what we're going to be talking about was the website builder that Kajabi has. Now, we are going to be developing more content, digging into the details of different aspects of the website builder. So for the purposes of this video, let's go ahead and give a general overview of the website builder. So let's go ahead and jump in. Kajabi, top left-hand corner, website, that's the first thing that you see. And there's a few things that are under here. You have your design, your pages, your navigation, and your blog. Design function, as you can see, we already have our website developed here um, and we have our themes, but there are different designs and themes that Kajabi has to offer when it comes to what type of look and feel do you want your website to have? You even see here that they have their theme store. So if we click on that, you'll see that there are different the uh, themes, some are for free, some you may have to invest in more advanced themes, but these are just examples of themes that you could utilize for your website that you want to develop. The next thing is pages. So let's go ahead and click on into that. We have website, landing, and pipelines. 
Johnny, the other co-founder of eLearning Partners, went through pipelines a little bit earlier, so make sure to go back and watch that video about pipelines as well. But we will dig into that a little bit here again, just kind of giving an overview. What is the difference between website, landing pages, pipelines? Let's go ahead and give you a high-level summary of that. So a website. The website is, think of it as your mother's ship. Right, when you create this website, the design is there, the functionality is there, customizations are there, navigation on the top, or wherever you decide to put it, uh, respective to your theme is gonna be there as well. Now, the difference between a website and a landing page is that a landing page is a clean slate. Let me go ahead and click on that. A landing page is literally starting like a blank white canvas. Now, you of course can connect it to your website. You can connect it, obviously, to your whole entire website ecosystem. However, it is almost a standalone. You and your team have to actually go in there and connect it to your website. So a big question you may be asking yourself is, then what's the point of even having a landing page? Well, the point of having a landing page, again, we wanna make sure that we have people that land on our website, we're navigating them through our end goal, whether if that's getting them to fill out a downloadable PDF, whether if that's them signing up to a free masterclass, whether if that's them giving you a call or scheduling a meeting with you, whatever the call to action is that you want the people that land on your website to go to. So imagine on, your website, you have a call to action that says schedule a meeting. When that button is clicked, that button after clicking at the page that you go to is a landing page. And the reason why we do that is to have clean navigation, making sure that it is very easy for the visitor to your website to do the very thing that you want them to do. Whether if that call to action is to schedule a call, whether if that call to action is watch free masterclass. And here is the big thing. When your visitor to your website goes to your landing page, there is no other distractions. What I mean by distractions, there are no top menu or other places that they can click on to go back to your homepage or to go to a different page, to go to a different resources page. There are no distractions. The visitor is specifically looking at, at what that call to action is. For example, if they click that button, schedule a call, that landing page they go to is focused on scheduling a call. There is no top navigation, nothing else that will distract them from the very purpose of why you built that landing page and connected it to that call to action which is for them to schedule a call. So it's extremely, extremely powerful. Landing pages are absolutely amazing. And pipelines, again, like we talked about a little bit earlier. So what pipelines are, are if you have a pipeline connected to a landing page. In other words, if you have a sales funnel that you have built within a landing page, that is a pipeline and that shows up here. You'll see here that we have a couple of pipelines as well. Again, we're doing a high level overview. We'll, we'll jump into even more detail and further content that we develop. Going to the navigation piece. So the navigation is how do you want your website to look like from a navigation perspective? Where do you want, for example, you see here that we have a blog. Where do you want the blog? We also have a masterclass page. Where do you want that to be? We also have a footer, right? You know, so you have your main menu here, then you have your footer, then you have your member menu, then you have your about and contact menu. So what navigation is all about is how do you want your overall look and navigation of the visitor to have when they land on your website? Now, the beautiful thing is about Kajabi is that they make it very simple. You can add to your main menu if you want to very simply. You can also move things around. That's a little drag and drop. They have a drag and drop function. Also, this little eyeball right here is a preview. So you can open it up and you can preview uh, the, in this, uh, in this case, this is the blog. Okay. Right. You can also preview here at what this looks like. In this case, this is the master class. So Kajabi makes it so user friendly, not only to create your navigation, but also as you test, as you talk to your learners, as you get your website out there, if you want to add something, if you want to move something around, 
They make it super simple. They also have, in addition to your default menus, they also have custom menus. So if there is something that Kajabi doesn't have in their default menu that you wanna add, boom, they make it very, very user-friendly to do that. All you gotta do is click this big button here, hit new navigation. I won't do that for now for this video, but you can see here that there were a couple things that we wanted to create that the default menu didn't have. So for example, look at this contact us, right? We decided to create this contact us because because this was important for us. This is our contact us section where if a visitor wants to reach out to us, boom, they put in their name, their phone number, email, telling us a little bit about their e-learning project and boom, they can schedule a call. So we wanted to custom make this respective for us and respective for the services that we provide. So when you are creating your custom navigations, think about your business. Think about the services and or products that you offer. What type of experience or what type of information or what type of things do you need? So when a visitor lands your website, it is easy for them to not only click to what they want, if they want to learn more or if they want to download something, but if there's something specific that you're looking for that's going to help you with your business from a data perspective, you can create a custom menu around that. For example, here, tell us a little bit about your e-learning project. That is a very important data metric that we want to collect that, of course, Kajabi doesn't have this as a default, so we created this as a custom piece for us for our business. So something to think about as you're creating your website. And then last but not least, blog. Blogs are absolutely powerful. Oh my goodness, we could do a whole entire playlist video series about blogs. However, as we all know, why are blogs fantastic? They're fantastic for several reasons. I'll say a couple of them. Number one, you and your team have the opportunity to share a lot of remarkable content to your visitors so they can learn more about what's going on in your industry and some education that you have relative to your industry that is beneficial for your visitors. And of course, free and remarkably amazing content will allow for getting emails and emails will allow for potential new sales or even nurturing them into a potential sale in the future. Again, make sure to watch that video with our amazing co-founder, Johnny Havy, that digs into that even more. And then also blogs, search engine optimization. This is a wonderful SEO play to get that organic SEO for your website so you have more visitors landing on your website, either signing up for your masterclass, downloading your PDF, so you're not only providing them with incredible and remarkable content, but you're also receiving their email that you can start developing a relationship with them and hopefully they will become a customer down the line. So that is a high level overview of the Kajabi website builder. This has been such a powerful tool, such a game changer. Again, team, Kajabi not only has the website builder, but they also do hosting. They do all of those technical things that if you were to do this outside of Kajabi and you would have to do WordPress and you would have to get a hosting and then you would have to do this and you have to do, there's just, they just eliminate all that pain and allow you to do the most important thing, which is create remarkable content for your visitors for your potential customers, for your learners, so they can land on your website and you can start changing their lives as soon as possible and getting that content or your services in their hands as soon as possible. Again, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so as soon as we release a new piece of content, you know right away so we can keep helping you and simplifying your e-learning program, virtual training and online course. And below in the description, there is a link to the free masterclass. Make sure to click on that, sign up and you get instant access. Yes, you heard that right. You will get instant access to the free masterclass where we really dive into a lot of elements to start helping you develop your e-learning program, virtual training, or online course. Again, my name is Hector Simudis, one of the co-founders of e-learning partners. Thank you so much for being here with us today, and we will see you in the next video.